elemental organs are unfortunately dropped from very specific pals, but fortunately there's a location dense with all of them. Not to mention every other thing that you're gonna need. Horns, bones, seeds, and every other basic material that you're gonna need. This farm will definitely take care of you, but there are two things that you're gonna need to make your life much, much easier when farming anything in this game. So let's talk about them quickly. The first thing you're gonna need is a mount. The one that I think you should aim for is the dire wolf that comes available around 11 or 10. That's when you can make the saddle. Now, dire wolves are damn near everywhere, and if you explore it even a little bit, you probably happen to find one. So step one, get a mount. Step two is gonna save you so much time. Get a bat pal. This specific pal has a sonar ability in which you can basically track various pals. So you won't be hunting for one confusingly running around in, in circles only to see that he was behind a bush or behind a mountain cliff. Definitely get the bat. The bat is basically all over the place at night. You just go at nighttime, run around, even the beginner area, the second checkpoint you attain on the first island usually has bats. Bats are everywhere, similar to wolves. Just play enough and you, you'll find them. <laughs> So now that you have both of these things, you can get around much easier and you can actually track the things that you're hunting. Great! Not so great, you're gonna encounter a plethora of problems. I went to the location where it told me these monsters are, but there's like one. What the fuck is happening? I keep killing them in one shot! What the fuck? <laughs> God, do I have to go get a shitty wolf or something worse? To be clear, there are gonna be three problems you're gonna be facing when farming. You kill things too quickly, you run out of Pokeballs, and you don't know the best locations for locations that are really dense in the PAL that you're looking for. So let's cover all that. Step number one, we're gonna make your PAL do a lot less damage, but more consistent damage over time. Basically, instead of doing 100 damage, you're gonna be doing 30, but you can spam it like in three seconds. So you're gonna melt everything in a more efficient way. Cool. How we're gonna do this is you're gonna go to these three locations I'm showing you right now. You're gonna find a tree at these locations. Now, when you go to the tree, you're gonna grab all the fruit from each of the tree. Now, out of the three locations that I showed you, these are all beginner-esque areas, so they shouldn't give you cracked out of your mind skills. What you're gonna be looking for out of all of the fruit that you harvest are abilities that have a low CT, which is this thing right here. So you're gonna scatter all the fruit and see whichever one has a really, really low number in the CT department. That's cooldown. That's so you can spam these skills back to back to back, which usually are indicative of them not doing a lot of damage, which is gonna stop you from one-tapping even really, really low level mobs. And if you still want to melt a big mob, you can. You just hit all of your other abilities at once and you spam and just overwhelm them with a bunch of tiny attacks. It actually works really well because you're not on a long cooldown. You can kind of spread the damage out uh, in a greater area, which is awesome. And if you happen to go to a tree and you find three that are exactly what I just described, low cooldowns, great, awesome. Slap them on your person, you're good to go. You don't have to go to the other three trees. The second thing we're not gonna take too much time on, how do you get more Pokeballs? If you have not heard already about how to get essentially infinite basic Pokeballs, it's really simple. I think you can do it around level six is when you get access to what is essentially the ranch. The next thing you're gonna need is a special poodle-like animal called Vixie, if I'm not mistaken. They are located here. Just go and use your sonar with your bat, pulse a bunch until you see them. When you find them, capture them. Then you take them back to your base, you place your ranch, you pick the pals up, throw them in the ranch. Ideally, you also put a chest with one Pokeball in it near the ranch, so that way there's a place for them to dump it. Otherwise, they have a chance of despawning, but I haven't really seen things despawn, so you're probably fine. And if you let them work for like, let's say 10 minutes, you'll come back and they'll have dug up a ton of basic Pokeballs and you should literally have hundreds of these, which is perfect because all the enemies that we're fighting are gonna be pretty low level. So this is where you're gonna need all of them. Now, some of y'all might be like, but why can't I just kill them? You can, but you are going to need a lot of every type of Pokemon in endgame as well as when you capture a Pokemon, it gives you experience as well as more resources. So you'll be getting more organs if that's what you're here for. And the place we're gonna be farming has so many types of Pokemon, which is so much experience because you get massive experience gain for the first 10 Pokemon that you catch of the same type. So this is a great XP farm as well. And lastly, the third problem, what is the best location for bang for your buck? A location with dense pals that we're looking for, uh, whether it's fire organs, dark organs, or the whole shebang. Well, I made this cheeky little map that I hope describes things well, and this is what we're going to be going for as far as organs go, but just know that in between all of these hot points, there is a ton of everything else, which you might as well kill, capture, or whatever. Yes. Now, by the way, a great thing to do is just to put on some music and just to purge this whole island, capture, kill, the whole shebang, 
Uh, now that you have your like low level ability, you should be able to spam the hell out of them when you're riding around on your dire wolf or mount. Uh, and that could be just a great way of getting everything like bones, meat, uh, seeds, uh, organs, the whole shebang. But if you specifically want organs, these are the animals to look for. For fire organs, we're going to be taking down the deer like enemies. Luckily, they're not too aggressive and they don't run away too often, which is nice. But yes, just use your mounts uh, lesser abilities and throw a pow ball on them, wait for them to get captured, and you're good to go. If you happen to overkill them, not that bad. They still drop what they drop. You take the organ of their dead body. It's fine. This is not necessarily an organ, but it is a water Pokemon drop. We're going to basically be farming the ducks. Essentially, just go around the perimeter of the island to look at the water. You'll find the ducks, purge the ducks. You're good to go. You'll have this water thing that you're going to need a lot of. It's not an organ, but it's basically taking the same place as that in crafting. So good. For the ice organ, we're going to be going into the split of the two islands. Uh, so in between right there, we're going to go there. There's there's like weird pal penguins, I guess. Just go there, uh, kill them, uh, purge them, etc. By the way, if any of them don't spawn, uh, basically just teleport away, uh, give it a little bit of time, come back. Or if you're not playing on a live server, you can just load out, load back in, and they tend to be different every time you do that. So yes. For dark organs or poison organs, whatever they're called, um, essentially we're just going to wait till it's nighttime and then go to this same island and there's a bunch of depressos. <laughs> hilarious and <laughs> depressed uh, kind of louds about um and all, all bunch of other dark types too uh just again purge kill capture mostly capture capture is much better and the last organ is electro which unfortunately isn't in this environment which sucks but where it is is in the starter town that's like your first town that you ever find go here teleport it's around this area again use sonar pulse um i find there's some right beside usually the uh, spawn point but if you can push into the main island uh there's not like a checkpoint near it so it's kind of a pain in the ass but push into there use your your bat sonar and then you'll find a lot of hedgehogs and electric cats and that's essentially what we're going to be killing and capturing uh to get electro organs but ladies and gentlemen you should be like 100 good uh, again i would highly advise you just trickling around and killing things like moose because you're going to need horns you're going to need everything as much as it's pain in the ass to capture things just fucking kill some things if you're just on your way all right um, also note that you need to constantly get rid of stuff in your inventory because you everything's a tiny little piece of this and that right so you're going to need to make space bring them back to your base dump off the resources and you should be taken care of for damn near every of your eh, mid to basic resources uh, and if you just keep looping around this island you'll be great but ladies and gentlemen love this game to bits we'll definitely be covering more of it by the way uh we, yeah i just i can't i've never i haven't played a game in a long time where i've just loved it so much and like hours turn into to seconds it's it's wild i'm gonna definitely be making more videos hopefully you'll put out with me love you to bits hopefully i helped and goodbye my friends